Cosplayers EIE Cosplayers So today's tutorial is on Rowena from Supernatural So keep watching to learn how to do this makeup look And also if you're not subscribed yet, come on Hit that red button and subscribe to the channel Help my little channel grow And leave your thumbs up on this video So YouTube can help other people see more of this video So YouTube understands that if you comment And if you like the video, it helps the video grow And be seen by other people on YouTube So help me leave your thumbs up And subscribe to the channel And become part of our cost family So keep watching to learn this makeup look And now for the intro <laughs> Finally guys, we've made some progress. I put on my contacts first. Yay! I always forget. You guys know I always forget. So I remember this time. So now, on to the first step. We are going to apply foundation. I am using a foundation that is lighter than my skin tone because Rowena has a very pale complexion with a yellow undertone. But remember, color does not make you more or less of Rowena. Color does not define your cosplay, so have fun. That's all that matters. So I'm applying foundation. And I'm blending that all over my face and my neck and any area of the cosplay that's going to be exposed. Now moving on to the highlight and contour method. I'm using the highlight and contour stick from NYX Cosmetics. All you need to find is a lighter concealer than the foundation that you chose to use. And you apply that on an upside down triangle shape under your eyes. As you can see in this photo I'm referencing of Rowena, she has a slight brightness under her eyes which gives a contrast between the contour and the blush and that's what we're going for. And now with a generous amount of translucent powder, we're going to set under our eyes and we're going to leave the excess there for a little bit, baking, it's called the baking method. So we leave it there for a few moments and then we wipe off the excess with the brush. And now we're changing the color of our eyebrows. So for that, I'm using a disposable mascara wand and the Vision Cream Concealer from Danessa Marks in the color white. So I'm applying the concealer on the wand and then I'm brushing my hairs with it to make my eyebrows fully white. Now remember, if you don't have the specific concealer that I'm using, you can use another product. You can use a cream white eye pencil or another option of another brand of a white concealer. You'll be just fine. As long as it paints your eyebrow hairs white, you are good. And to color in the eyebrows, I'm using a matte brick red brown and I'm applying that in dabbing motions on top of my eyebrows. So basically, you're going to color in with that matte eyeshadow every part of your eyebrow that is white. If you find that your eyebrows are too thick and you want it to be more similar to Rowena's, remember that you can use the blocking your eyebrow option and designing your own eyebrows from scratch. I do have a tutorial on my channel teaching you how to block your eyebrows so you can watch that after this video if you like. And if you have a little bit of fallout, it's okay. Just go back with the foundation brush and fix that and take all the excess eyeshadow away. And now the baking is done, so we're going to brush away all of that excess translucent powder away. So we did the highlighting part and now we're on to contour. So I'm using the same contour stick from NYX Cosmetics and I'm contouring multiple areas of my face. So think of contouring as a fake plastic surgery, so you're creating the illusion that you have similar features as the character that you're cosplaying. So always have that reference photo with you and every area that you see a shadow is a place where you can contour. For example, her nose is very thin and pointy and I'm contouring my nose to be thin and pointy. So every time you look at me when the light hits on it, it's going to create the illusion that my nose is the same shape as hers. Contour becomes much easier to understand when you have a reference picture with you. So it's easier to look at a picture and see everything that has shadow in it and contour your face to be as similar as possible as it can to the character. For example, her nose and her cheeks and even her smile lines are things that you can contour on your face. To create the illusion that I have larger cheekbones, I am contouring in angled lines downwards to give myself the illusion that I have more chiseled cheeks. Thank you. 
and now to blend the contour. Now the easiest way to explain this or think of this is to always remember and respect that line that you drew. So always think of that shape that you drew and blend it in a way that's not going to change the form or the drawing that you did. So blend it in back and forth motion or dabbing motion but always staying within those lines. Never blend it around or in motion that it's going to make all those things that you drew go away. Because you want it to stay there, you want the contour to stay in the same shape. And now back to the eyes, so I'm using this e.l.f. eye tape to help me make the shape of her eyeshadow. So this tape is going to help me make that angled shape and make the process much easier. But if you don't have it, that is okay, you can do without it. And if you make any mistakes, just go back with concealer and foundation and fix it. And if you are using the tape, make sure you leave a little bit of space close to the waterline. And for the eyeshadow colors, I'll be using the BP Perfect Stacy Marie palette and I'm using the color Queenie to set down that base. And with the blending eyeshadow brush, I am using that first to draw the outline of the shape that I want. So remembering we're doing an angled shape, so follow the shape of your natural eye shape and make sure to wing it upwards. And after creating that outline shape, you can go ahead and fill it in with the same color eyeshadow and you can even blend it a little bit more downwards closer to your waterline. Now for the next step, we're going to start working with black eyeshadow and black eye pencil. So I chose to remove the eye tape just because her eyeshadow isn't a straight line. It's a little bit smoky and rounded on the edges. So if you're not as confident to work with black eyeshadow, please leave them on. And you can always adjust the shape after you're finished. No problem. And here I'm just cross-referencing Rowena's photo again, making sure that my eyeshadow shape is the same as hers. And now with a black eye pencil, I'm concentrating small amounts of product at a time on her outer corner of the eyes and blending it in back and forth motion, moving a little bit of the product closer to our waterline, but always concentrating that product in the outer corner of our eyes, smoking it upwards to be like a smoky winged liner. And using the black eyeshadow from the Jeffree Star Alien palette, it's called Black Hole, but any black eyeshadow will do if you don't have this palette. Remember, we're concentrating small amounts of product at a time and smoking it in the outer corner of our eyes upwards using back and forth motion. And after you blended that black eyeshadow really well and you don't have a saturation of product on your brush anymore, you're going to start pulling that black eyeshadow to your crease. Using that same back and forth motion to blend the product, do not blend it upwards. We want to concentrate that line following the shape of our crease. And now we're doing the same exact thing to the other eye. I'm also adding a little bit of that highlighting color in the inner corners of my eyes. And here I'm just removing any fallout or fixing any mistakes with the foundation brush. And that face is not necessary. <laughs> And now with the Be Perfect Liquid Eyeshadow in the color Jewels, which if you have the Kitten Karma from Stila, they're very similar. I'm using that to paint only halfway through my lid, cleaning away any black eyeshadow and giving myself a more rounded shape to my eye and having that black matte eyeshadow as my background. And now for blush! I am making a fish face to guide and help myself know where I need to apply the blush. On mostly all the photos I've seen of Rowena, she's always wearing a coral blush. So I'm applying that first, a very light coral blush on my cheeks. And then I'm going with the Pinky Rose Transition Palette, using that pink from the center and applying that on top. And now for the lips. So I chose to put on a red lip color because on mostly all the photos that I've seen of Rowena, she is wearing red lips. So I chose to use this one from NYX Cosmetics. I think it's been discontinued. I've had this lip color for a while now, and I mean years.
And now for highlighter. Rowena doesn't often use highlighter, I haven't seen it a lot in her photos, but I'm putting a little bit on my nose just to give the impression that it is thinner and a little bit more pointy, more angled. And also, if you've noticed, Rowena has a little dent on the bridge of her nose. So I'm using a light brown pencil to draw that small little dent on my nose so when the light hits it, it creates the illusion that I have a dent also on my nose. And that is it, and now you are Rowena from Supernatural. So guys, I also wanted to let you know where I got the wig from because I received a lot of DMs asking me where I got it from. I got it from Amazon and I'm going to leave the link in the description box for you guys to purchase this wig too. It's so pretty. Yes, I loved it so much. I love Amazon. But thank you so much for watching guys. Thank you and if you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Become a part of our family. Leave your like on this video and share with your supernatural lover friends. Thank you and until my next video, bye bye.